In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can customize the action button on your iPhone 16, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max devices. So the action button replaces the silent or mute switch, which we've had until the iPhone 14 models. And since this is now a physical button, we can customize it to perform certain actions, open apps, activate the flashlight, and many more things. When I long press on my action button, it will switch between the silent and ring modes on my phone, but we can change this to a different thing if we want to. It's very easy to customize the action button, and all we have to do is to open the settings on our device, then scroll a bit down until you can see the action button option. Here it is, so I'll open it, and it's going to open this interface where we can swipe from the right to the left in order to change the function which we activate with this button. Currently, it's set to the silent mode as you can see, but I can swipe and set this to focus. We also have the flashlight, the camera. We can start recording a voice memo just by holding the action button. You have Shazam if you need to recognize a specific song which you hear, and a cool thing is that we can add a specific control from our control center. So you can see the control center icon, and in order to add a specific control, we can just tap on this choose a control, which will then open another menu where we can swipe through and select a button or control which we want to activate. Let's say I want to enable dark mode by tapping on the action button, just tap on it, and then you can change between the light and dark mode just by pressing on your action button. But you also have the ability to add a shortcut to your button, which we've created in the Shortcuts app previously. Here is the shortcut option, and in order to assign a specific shortcut here, just click on this Choose a Shortcut button, and then you will be able to select from a bunch of things in here. A cool thing about this is that you can open a specific app which you have installed on your phone just by pressing the action button and let's tap here. Then find an app you want to launch. Let's say I want to open the TikTok app just by pressing on my action button. You can see that it now says open TikTok and that means that we had successfully mapped the action button to open the TikTok app on my iPhone 16 Pro. If I now long press on the action button it will immediately open the TikTok app. So you can open apps, you can activate certain shortcuts, you can enable the flashlight with this button, and you can do many more things with it. That's essentially how we can customize our action button with just a few simple steps. If you need more iPhone, iOS, and other similar tutorial videos, please subscribe to AppTutor because it would really help us out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.